Oh, it scared me. Okay, you probably shouldn't do this in the house. Okay, you might be saying, uh, what is all this stuff? Well, we're gonna build out a set of clubs today. I'm gonna show you how to do it so you can have the exact setup you're looking for. Let's do it. So here's what I've got for the build out. A friend of mine gave me these KZG forged irons. Full set, three through pitching wedge. These are just an amazing uh, set of irons here and uh, highly, highly uh, well-crafted, amazing clubs. If you, are, uh, if you wanna check them out, I don't get anything from them. I'll leave a link to their site in the, in the uh, description below. And uh, as always, if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And uh, so links for these will be down below. So you need some club heads. We're gonna use those. KBS has sent me these shafts. These are the, uh, they gave me a towel. This is awesome. So I've got a full set of the, I say they're the S taper, but it's a money sign. So I'm gonna go money taper set of uh, shafts. So. These are just unused, untouched on everything. So here's what we need to do with these. And I'll leave links. KBS makes some amazing, amazing uh, products. So link in the description um, for KBS as always. A special thanks to them for sending me these shafts to build out my set. Also, I have some epoxy. You're gonna need shaft epoxy. This is the uh, Brampton uh, brand. You need an A and a B, and you're gonna mix those together. This is my um, rubber uh, vice clamp. You need that. Here are my ferrules. Now, with ferrules, uh, these go, you've seen these, you know? They go on the shaft. I got this, it has a uh, double chrome, two, a double chrome ring. It's beautiful. I wanted the double chrome ring because I felt like against the chrome head, it would look really awesome. So we got that. This is my vise. My wife's gonna be so mad. I'm clamping this onto the table. These are the, uh, what am I gonna use here? Lampkin grips, that's all I know. Uh, these are good grips. Brandy, I forgot which ones they were but I will leave a link in the description below for the Lampkin grips. But we got these guys we're gonna put on there. Get your cardboard. Boom, here's my cardboard. Make sure you have uh, the three iron, three iron. Get a ferrule. Got that. It's right in there. And I got some B. A and B. Equal amounts, good to go. No turning back now, baby. No turning back. I'm just gonna mix that up so it activates it. Beautiful. Get the get the shaft in there. Just turn it in there. Pretty good. Boom. The skinny end, the tapered end, goes at the top, right? Like so. Get some more on there. Make sure it's good. Boom. Put some in your club head. Get it all nice and in there. Boom. There you go. Oh, drip some on the table. Let me just shove that in. Okay. Wipe off the excess. Looks good. Then just set it aside. So I'm gonna jam through all the rest of the clubs, let them harden, then we're gonna come back and do the uh, shaft cut down, the grips. We're gonna have a brand new set of forged irons.
Uh, all right, we are all ready to rock, dried up. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Are looking sweet. And you can see the shaft is obviously not the correct length. So we have to cut these down. I'm just gonna measure from, from the ferrule to the end of the grip and I'm gonna put a mark. I'll just do this to all the clubs and then we'll, uh, we'll get back to it. Here we go. Oh, it scared me. Okay, you probably shouldn't do this in the house. <sighs> All right, uh, much safer, hopefully. All right, we are getting close. Now we're going to grip up and uh, my wife loves it when I do this in the house. It's her favorite thing in life. Here we go. Here's what you need. Grip solvent. I have uh, 10 grips, Lampkin specials, tape. Need a bowl here, old rag here. Another rag just for wiping off the grips. These double-sided tape. I cut it the uh, exact same length as the, um, as the grip. Boom. And you're going to put it on your club. It's pretty simple. Roll this on, put the top down there. So you want it like that, see that? We're gonna do all of them and uh, we'll come back to you. Exciting, isn't it? All right, we're gonna let those dry, and then uh, we're pretty much done. Show you the clubs as soon as they're ready. So they're built. I have the KZG forged iron heads three through pitching wedge. I have the KBS money taper 120 shafts in all the clubs. The Lampkin sonar grips on everything. Custom double chrome ringed ferrules. That was fun. That was a good time. And now we're gonna go hit these bad boys and see, see how they perform. Whew. Excited. Let's go hit him. Hit him all. Ooh, my gosh. Amazing. Uh, take them on the course, see how they perform. Okay, so I've got the KZGs out on the course now, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit a bunch of shots to the green, and I'm just gonna hit two from 200, and I'm gonna go up 20 yards, hit two, hit two, and keep going forward until I'm out of balls. Keep switching clubs until we're, uh, we're good. Here we go, four iron right here, see what happens.
okay, here we go. We've got uh, all my shots. Amazingly, I hit 10 balls, nine of them. Nine of them are on the green. I hit one, I think it's down here in the trap. Yeah, there it is. Uh, one in the bunker. Nine on the green, one in the bunker. Not too bad. So I'll take that. First time on the course with these, with these guys and they feel absolutely amazing. So I've got the KZG heads. It almost sounds like you're hitting a persimmon wood when you make good contact with the iron. And these KBS money taper shafts, oh my goodness. One of the best feeling setups I've ever had. And don't underestimate the power of a little detail in your ferrule. Not all black here. I like the little ring detail. So I took these and had these, the lie checked out yesterday. They're too upright for me. They are perfect for my, for my son. So I'm gonna pass these on to him. He was pure in these way better than me. So he's gonna, he's gonna rock and roll some blades. So good for him. I love them too. I might steal them out of his bag every now and then because the feeling of a blade, if you're looking for them, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, be opposed to, I mean, look, if it were me, if I did it all over again, I'd do the exact same setup. And uh, if you're gonna spend money and get blades, do it yourself, build them out, spec it out so it's to your exact uh, setup. Do what you want. Man, a friend of mine gave me the KZG heads and the, the dude is a friend of mine. He sells uh, coconut water and coconut drinks. I'm gonna leave a link for his stuff below and check him out because he's a super cool dude. And I don't know, he, wasn't, he didn't want me to promote his thing or anything, but dude, get some of his coconut water and coffee and stuff. It's amazing, by the way best ever so uh there you go i don't know hope this video hope you liked the video sorry mizuno titleist the kzg makes some pretty sick sick uh blades love them so kbs thank you for the shafts lampkin as always love you guys let me know what you think see you in the next video